All right, so that's that done. I've just came back. It's been about 30 minutes, and we're now ready to continue on with the removal part of the malware using the rescue disk. Okay, so when your scan's done, it's gonna well, it's gonna be stuck on 99%. It won't reach 100 until the frets are off the system. So when it's done, you're gonna get a pop up, a red pop up like this. And it's going to have a recommended action for each fret that it's detected. So uh, for this one, the recommended action is to be deleted. So Kaspersky's rescue disk is really, really, really uh, precise on what it wants to do with a file that's infected. So it, I would recommend you you uh, always go with the recommended button. All right. So if it says delete recommended, then and then delete it. Sometimes it's going to say quarantine because you have a risk of removing a critical file on the system and it will render the computer unbootable and you don't want that so whatever this says recommended choose to recommend it. If it says delete recommended chances are it's safe to completely remove so uh, and it, you can see here the object the ad, and it will give you the location to the executable file. It also gives you a uh, the, you know the definition of Trojan 132 agent whatever that is and uh, you know you can do your research if you want to know what about what it, more about that but you want to just um, you just want to click delete recommended all right and it's going to go ahead and that will delete the file and you'll get a notification saying that the file was deleted or it will say that in a minute just give it some time at times this rescue disk is looking like it's not doing anything or it just scans at 99%. See here it says the Trojan program has been deleted. You just saw that. Now it's popped up with another one. This is the uh, fake antivirus that we had. So it says delete recommended. You'll, and you click delete recommended. And you're going to have to be sitting at your computer for quite some time doing this because you can only do it one at a time to safely use the rescue disk you have the option to do this for all items but there you go um, you can click apply to all objects but you don't want to do that in case it's a critical file right so you always want to go with it it's a recommended action so click delete recommended and uh, keep doing that so as you can see this may take about 10 minutes to do depending on how many frets so it's going to keep popping up Dependent on how many frets you found. So that one's been removed. And another one's been removed. So we've got another one here. So again, we'll. So this is what I'm talking about. This one, we, it's recommending us to quarantine it instead. So we'll click quarantine instead. And we have to just keep doing this. And you can see here that uh, it takes your time. And again, you get another one. It says it's a uh, recommended action is to delete the file. So uh, we'll once again click uh, delete. And, was, and uh, now we have this one. This one's a potentially unwanted software, or this one's the, uh, oh, this one's actually the Windows 7 activation tool, which is not really malware, but um, the recommended actions delete if you want to do that. Or you can skip that, but in this case, I'm just going to delete. All right, so we got another one. Um, Again, it's wanting us to delete it. And again, you can see that's part of fake Microsoft security Accenture's uh, malware and just click delete and that gone and it deleted that so when torrent tr take alert uh, again click delete now you may not have as much infections on your system as I do but uh Nevertheless, you have to keep going and add this and keep trying. Um, I think it may take us a while to do because I think I have a lot of infections to clean up. So um, at this time, I think you get the, the the point. You know, you just have to take your time here and remove them all one at a time to be safe. And uh, I'm just going to click keep and delete recommended and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the, the video um, while I'm doing all this because uh, that way uh, it won't get boring here because I'm probably going to be at it for a very long time trying to delete these uh, infections off the computer.
Yeah, I'll go ahead and pause the video. All right, so now the scan's done. And uh, once it's done, it, it'll say that the scan is completed right here. And um, once that's done, if you click the report, in status or detected items and under here when you click detected items you can expand that and you can see the green check mark now is under and you can see the deleted files and the path and everything so you can see here that all of these were deleted if I check in the path I'll try to make it a bit bigger um, you could see you know the check mark right here so all of those were all deleted so everything successful so you can check the report if you want to and uh, you can see the quarantine ones as well. So all that has been removed off the computer. So uh, now we can exit the window out. And uh, what we can do is we can minimize this. And uh, from this point, we're going to go into the registry editor on the computer. And we're going to remove the programs that start with Windows just so there's no interference when we log into the computer again. And we can do that by clicking the Kaspersky's uh, registry editor and um, by doing this we'll be we'll select our operating system which is Windows 7 and uh, we'll hit current users and we'll select our username right here and uh, when ex we'll expand that and then we're going to come down and locate system and expand it actually locate software and expand software then come down to where you see Microsoft and expand it and then come down to where you see uh, Windows and expand it. And then look for current version right here and expand it. And then come down to where you see run. And then in here, any file that you find in here, you want to r remove these entries because these are programs that are going to run when Windows starts. You can see here that these programs are still triggered to run when Windows starts. And these are probably remnants of malware now these may not no longer be active malware because it could be dead from once we removed all those if they're just a minute ago so these could just be dead files but they're still programmed to start with windows so you can go ahead and delete anything in here in fact if you're not sure just delete them all because you're not going to do anything to your computer you can delete any entry in the register in the under the run uh once and run thing like under this folder you can delete so uh if you see under run once as well just make sure there's no entries in here and uh, once you do that you can now exit out of the registry clean editor and uh, we're ready to uh, reboot the system and we'll see if the uh, computer is less infected all right so uh, we're going to restart the computer all right so uh, that's just the computer's going to be restarting so we're just exiting and out of the rescue disk right now So um, I'm going to hit the F2 key again really fast and enter my BIOS before I restart the computer. And we're going to go back and configure the hard drive to be the, boot, the first boot device. So uh, by doing that, what I did last time, the plus and minus for me. So I'm going to move the hard drive to the top and then I'm going to click exit, save and changes. So I'm just going to make sure I switch it so the hard drive's at top. So it will boot into Windows here. And uh, we'll just wait for 20 seconds for this to uh, boot up. If I click enter, I think I can get into it right away. So uh, you may or may not see a Windows recovery error coming up. If you do see this, it's because you likely were booted into the rescue disk. So it's nothing major. Just click start Windows normally. So now we're booting back into the operating system and we'll find out if we broke our computer or not. That's the thing when you're using a rescue disk, you sometimes run that risk of rendering the computer unbootable. But Kaspersky is very, very good at uh, safely removing malware off the system. So uh, chances are it will that's a very very slim chance and uh, let's see if we boot into Windows here we'll prob I hope what we were hoping for is for us to boot into Windows without all those fake antivirus clients running that we saw at the beginning of the video and where we can at least get in there and remove the rest of the infections of malware bytes and Hitman Pro and ADW cleaner and Archeo and junkware removal tool so uh, we're just letting the computer load now and uh, 
keep in mind there may be a few malware processes still running when you boot back in it's not going to remove them all but the purpose of the rescue disk was to get the computer under control to where we can download a file and remove the rest of the stuff so now we're booting back into the computer and uh, if we can see here that uh, it hasn't removed this one yet it hasn't removed spy surf which is not good but uh, other than that I think everything else it's removed we've only had one fake client running and uh, you could see here that the wallpaper has been changed still by the malware um, that we can just right click on to and change back ourselves it's going to click continue unprotected here so if I right click on my desktop I can change the wallpaper hang on I'm still loading into Windows by the way so it may take some time but you can see here there's not many malware processes running which is a good thing only that one program so if I go into t to the task manager we should be able to get into here I hope this thing with rescue disks uh, it, they work 90% of the time still letting windows load in here it's really slow for some reason let's give it time let's see why it's going so slow if we can get into task manager we can probably shut down some processes all right well the processes and we could see here we actually don't have much running under but we could see that spy surf is running now. I'm just going to end it. Right click and end the task to spy surf. There it goes. And we can see there's another weird.exe file. You can see under the description we have some kind of Chinese software running here. I'm just going to end that. So you can see here by using the rescue disk we kind of got the operating system back under control to where we can get into task manager and remove and end tasks. And from this point on you just have to uh, download the other stuff like malware bytes to clean up the rest. Um, anyhow. And you can see the icons are here for for the fake antivirus client, but if you try to run them, well, that's the installer. We don't want to install that, but it says the file no longer exists. It's because the Kaspersky's rescue disk here has taken the shortcut. And so th you can see that these, uh, likely these files will no longer run. So you try to run them, problem with a shortcut. So you can delete these icons off the desktop now because they don't work anymore. They've been removed by the rescue disk. So I'm just going to delete these uh, files. We'll change our wallpaper here in a second. There we go. Now the computer is starting to look more better now. So now once you do once you're done that, um uh, these are just dead icons. Unpin them. Um, you can see the start menu has some more of that Chinese software. I'm just gonna remove it from the start menu. So you get the point here, you just want to kind of organize your computer after this. And you can see the entries are still in the start menu. But these are, again, these are probably dead files. So you can delete these. These are just leftover entries of dead malware that I'm just trying to remove. Like, just trying to get rid of them all. You know, kind of just trying to clean up the computer a little bit. But you could see after using the rescue disk, we sort of got the system back under control. And, uh,.
yeah. So, uh, we'll open up Google Chrome here, and uh, we'll see if we can get on to Malwarebytes now and uh, get install Malwarebytes. So, uh, at this point, you want to download Malwarebytes, and if you want, you can follow my other video I made about how to remove malware, and that will work as well. For some reason, I'm still being redirected to this page here, which is weird. This Chinese page. I can change that by clicking File, Settings, and then here I can go into the, uh, you know, to where it says uh, Set Specific Pages for to your home page. We'll add www.google.com. So, uh, whoops, I misspelled that. Anyhow, at this time, um, to try to get to Google and uh, we can get to Google which is good and now we can download Malwarebytes and basically download this and start scanning your system and uh, download now and run the Malwarebytes and stuff uh, at this time I'm going to end the video because from here you should be able to download anti other antivirus software you know like Malwarebytes and stuff uh, to clean up the rest of the infections that may be uh, present. So uh, check my other video out now after you've watched this video uh, because uh, I've made another hour long video that deals with removing malware from the normal environment like from booting into Windows normally and booting into safe mode and stuff so uh, I would recommend you check out my other video how to remove malware for free 2015 tutorial. Uh, I'll have the link for the description box. From this point on you just want to run Malwarebytes, scan the computer, and uh, mop up the rest of the infections that may be on here. And uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope this video helped you guys use the bootable anti-malware CD to get your system back under control. And uh, if you need my help I offer a remote malware removal repair. Uh, you contact me on Facebook and I'll leave my link to my Facebook account also in the description box. If you contact me, I'll help you remove malware off your system. So contact me on Facebook and uh, I'll help you with your malware issues and stuff. So uh, thanks for watching my video and remember to comment, write, and subscribe. Uh, again, all you have to do from this point on is to start downloading malware bytes and if you want even more help with removing malware, check my other video on how to remove malware. And uh, it's, an hour, it's, a, it's another hour long video I made that goes over how to remove malware with Hitman Pro and all kinds of programs. So uh, yeah, what you really need to do now that you're booted back into your normal environment here is just download other stuff like Malwarebytes and scan your system and remove and mop up the rest of the infections. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Remember to comment, write, and subscribe.